Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I must say our blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people, as you may we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of may we all together know your name and study your Torah for sake fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel, blessed are you, Adonai Elohinu, king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Uh, today's read is Ephesians 6, 1, 1 Timothy... 3, 1 through 13, and Titus 1, 5 through 9. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. One Timothy three one through thirteen. The saying is trustworthy trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of Overseer, he desires a noble task, therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not a violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money, he must manage his own household well, with all dignity, keeping his children submissive, for if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for Elohim's church? He must not be a recent convert, or he may become puffed up with the, with conceit and fall into condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must be well thought of by outsiders, so that he may not fall into disgrace, into a snare of the devil. Deacons likewise must be, must be dignified, not double-tongued. No... Not addicted to much wine, not greedy for di for dishonest gain, they must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. And let them also be tested first. Then let them serve as deacons, if they prove themselves blameless. Their wives likewise must be dignified, not slanderers, but sober-minded, faithful in all things. Let, let deacons... Each be the husband of one wife, managing their children and their own households well. For those who serve well as deacons gain a, gr a good standing for themselves and also great confidence in the faith that is in Yeshua HaMashiach. Titus 1, 5-9 This is why I left you in Crete, so that you may put what remained into order. And appoint elders in every town as I directed you. If anyone is above reproach, the husband of one wife and his children are believers, and not open to the charge of debauchery or insubordination. For an overseer as Elohim steward must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or a violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught, so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, you king of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life from amidst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah. Bruka tau, Adonai Elohim, you malach alom. Ashnatar lenu tereh me vaishi elom. Natabete kenyu, Bruka tau, Adonai, natina tereh.